the world's biggest plant to extract carbon dioxide from the air opens in Iceland. How significant is it in the battle to reverse climate change? Meanwhile, the world's biggest plant to extract carbon dioxide from the air has opened in Iceland. It showcases a developing technology considered by some to be an important tool in the fight against climate change. The plant will remove 4,000 tons of CO2 every year. But as David Campanale now reports, skeptics say this is a tiny percentage of the carbon dioxide that is generated by the burning of fossil fuels. Glamorx Orca is the first plant ever in commercial operations for direct air capture and storage that starts serving customers today. A futuristic vision of how to save the planet from runaway climate change or a futile expense that distracts from the urgency of slashing CO2 emissions. In 2017, we celebrated a pioneering moment. In a promotional video, Swiss startup Climeworks announced the opening of the largest direct air capture and storage plant in existence in a partnership with Icelandic company Carbfix. Powered by renewable geothermal energy from nearby, the plant consists of four units, each made up of two metal boxes. These suck carbon dioxide directly from the air, mixes it with water and then sends the product deep underground where it gradually turns into rock. Storing carbon underground can be done at massive scale and it is really, really reliable to store that carbon uh, underground, two, three, four kilometres underground, where it can stay for millions of years and be safely and securely monitored so we know exactly where it is. Our plant captures CO2 by drawing air into its collectors with a fan. Direct air capture is one of the few technologies extracting carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Its supporters say it's vital to limit global warming, blamed for causing more heat waves, wildfires, floods and rising sea levels. But skeptics point out that the climate crisis is worsening because of the relentless burning of fossil fuels, and it's these that need to be cut. Last year, global CO2 emissions totaled 31.5 billion tonnes, according to the International Energy Agency. And this plant will remove just 4,000 tonnes of that in a year, the equivalent of just 800 cars. It's so far been a completely failed technology, technological solution. Um, there are, of course, much better solutions out there. Solar panels, wind turbines, um, the emerging industry of green hydrogen. Uh, this is a kind of very, very high-end solution. We prepare the CO2 for the storage process. Direct air capture is at the cutting edge of climate technology. But due to their cost, there are only 15 such plants worldwide. Unless scaled up at speed, these won't take away from what scientists say is the imperative of keeping 80% of carbon reserves in the ground. David Campanale, BBC News.